James, we head into the 2024-2025 Volume Hill Championship on Saturday against Livingston. It'll be another tough division this season, but we'll be hoping to get off to a good start and, and carry that form on going forward. Yeah, it look, it's a big day in the calendar in terms of when you, you see the fixtures coming out, you're always looking forward to your your first league game. Um, it's the start of another, it'll be a roller coaster all season, this league for every team, every manager, all the players and in every dressing room will be will be getting ready and geared up for a, another tough tough campaign. But look, it's it's match day one. We're we're looking forward to it. We're want to go down there and, and get a positive result and, and bring it back up here. It's a side that we'll know well having played them in the Premier Sports Cup um, in West Lothian just a few weeks ago. Would you expect it to be a similar game, a similar challenge? Certainly, challenge wise, it will be. Um, they're a decent team. They're obviously they're the team that come down for the Premiership. There's a lot of change within their squad, but that game was tough. It's a at the minute it's a tough pitch to go and play on as well, when particularly when it's dry. But look, that's the same for both teams. So and we're used to playing on artificial pitches anyway. So it's you can never tell if the game will be similar. Um, I'm sure they've get they've got changes in, in the way they want to do things. We. We've got an analysis on that game and things that, that we need to change, but we showed that day that we can go down and compete. I don't think there were much quality in the game from either side. Both teams will be looking to, to add a bit in that respect, but no, look at the, the excitement's here. We're, we're looking forward to getting it all started, and and it's a tough tough opening game, but one we're certainly looking forward to. In terms of availability for the squad, Lewis Briggs will come on to the, to the bench and, and be involved in the matchday squad for the first time. What's your thoughts on his inclusion? Well, he's, he's trained brilliant all week. Um, he really has, so he deserves now to to come along with with the first team squad and and it's the performances and training that have that have made that happen for him. So now I'm, I'm looking forward to to getting him involved in the squad. He'll be excited as well, I'm sure. And general fitness wise, how are we looking in terms of guys like Sam Fisher who went off last week? Yeah, Sam will be fine. He's he's back training and. We caught it at the at the right time, um, so credit to the medical staff and Sam for that because we had says to the players if there is anything, particularly certain ones that, that we knew may have been carrying little niggles or had had played a lot over the pre-season period. So we got it early enough, Sam will be fine. The only, I think the only two, Chris Kane was touch and go all week. He, he was training today, but just with the fact that we had the option, do we, do we risk him to make the bench tomorrow or do we get another another seven days into, into him for, for next week. So we'll do that. We'll get Kano back in the training pitch next week. And Matthew is obviously the other one. Um, he's now out his sling. Uh, and it's good to see him back doing doing ordinary things now. He can tie his own laces and cut his food. So he's, he's, he's very chuffed about that. But apart from that, that's all. Only the two that are out of the squad. Everyone else is available.